Hi, everyone. I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how we can actually update the Zoom user settings using the Zoom users REST API. Okay. So basically, on the, in the last session, I have uh, described all the limitations regarding that endpoint, that what scopes are required, what uh, request limit there, what query parameters we can pass, actually what payload sections are there. Okay. So basically, uh, in the last session, I have demonstrated regarding the user settings uh inside the payload section and i have a just described email notification what reminders we can enable disable and continuing with the user settings uh section and today's session we will describe the features okay so feature, feature section inside the user settings and what features we have uh, available to enable or disable using this endpoint okay so first thing i uh, sectionized the features uh in in, in four different sections so those will be these uh, either you have available meetings feature okay you can enable disable uh, uh, by using the user setting update endpoint and another our webinar and events okay features and you have a zoom phone features you have a whiteboard features and you have others okay so let's just start inside the meeting. You can uh, uh, enable or disable uh, the concurrent concurrent meeting. Okay. Concurrent meeting feature by setting value either none by default values none. Either you can say it basic. Either you can say it plus. Okay. In the type of string. Okay. So basically concurrent meeting uh, feature will be only you will be able to enable this feature if you have uh, education, enterprise or business plan. Okay, So any one plan from this list you have then you can uh, enable uh, this concurrent meeting feature by setting the value basic or plus. Okay? So basically these are the license types inside these, inside these plans. So then you can enable this okay concurrent meeting basically this feature will allow the host to host the uh, host concurrent meetings at a time that means the host will be able to host max two meetings at a time okay uh, by default uh, with the basic and pro plan the hosts can only host uh, one meeting at a time okay let's suppose there is there will be a scenario that host require uh, at the same time he required to host the meeting and also he require host the webinar so you can uh, achieve uh, that thing by enabling this concurrent feature by setting either basic or plus plan okay and inside the meeting you have uh, also the meeting capacity okay so inside the meeting capacity you can set the value in the type of integer number so you can uh, set uh, the the valid value for this uh, feature you have must be greater than zero and less than equal to what plan you have okay so if you have a pro or basic plan either i can say basic or pro pro uh, plan with the zoom then you have a limit of 100 max participants okay that host can be only host a meeting up to 100 participants okay and if you have a business plan then you can uh, then host will be able to host the meeting up to 300 participants so max limit for this capacity feature you have the max capacity available with the plan okay and inside uh, the meetings you have a, a feature you can enable disable by setting inside the payload inside the feature section payload uh, called large meeting okay and you can enable or disable this feature by setting value in the type of boolean called true or false by default this large meeting feature is disabled and you can only enable this feature if you have a large meeting license if, if you do not have a license then you cannot enable that okay okay so if you have a already large meeting uh, feature enabled then you have a large meeting capacity feature okay so in the inside the large capacity feature you can set the capacity of meeting that what you are uh, actually applying the limit of participant how many participants will be 
joined inside that meeting. Okay, so you can set the value inside this feature uh, of value of type integer number. Okay, so you can only set either five hundred or one thousand. So you can pick only any one value. Okay, and this feature will be only available if you have already large meeting feature enabled. Okay, then this feature will be available. If you do not have this, then you cannot enable this. Okay. And then inside the uh, meeting, I think these are the uh, uh, available features we can enable, disable. And now let's move on with the webinar and event section. So inside the webinars, you have a feature called webinar. Okay? So you can enable or disable webinar feature by setting the value boolean type, or either you can pass true, either you can pass false. Okay? And by default, this uh, feature is uh, disabled and false. And you can only enable this uh, webinar feature uh, by passing value true if you have a webinar license. If you do not have, then you cannot enable that feature. Okay, so you must be have that thing in mind. So if you have a webinar license and you have en enabled that feature, then you have a webinar capacity feature. Okay, that means you are going to applying the limit or count on that feature and by passing the value uh, in the in the type of integer number. So you can save the value inside this webinar capacity from this set. So you can pick any any number. So you can either pass set uh, set 100, either you can set 500, 501, either you can set 1000, 1001, either you can set 3000, either you can set 5000, either you can set 10,000. Okay. So this is a set available. You must you must be pick any one value from this set and pass or set. Or enable this feature webinar capacity okay and inside the webinar and e events uh, features you have a zoom events feature okay so you can also enable or disable this feature by passing value or setting value uh, in the type of boolean true or false okay so before enabling that feature you must be have a zoom events license then you can enable or disable this okay and if you have already licensed and licensed about the Zoom events and you have enabled that, then you have a Zoom events capacity feature. That means you are actually going to applying the limit. So inside that, you can pick any one value from this set. Okay, so either you can say it 100, either you can say it 500, either you can say it 1000, either you can say it 3000, either you can say it 5000, either you can say it 10,000. Okay, so you can pick any one value. To uh, limit, apply the limit on Zoom events. Okay. And inside the Zoom phone, you have a Zoom phone feature. Okay. So you can also enable or disable this feature by setting value in the type of Boolean. Either if you are uh, interested to enable that, then you can say true. And if you are interested to uh, disable that, then you can say false. By default, value for this feature is false and it is by default disabled. And you can only enable or disable this feature if you have a Zoom phone license. And, and if you do not have a Zoom phone license and you are going to set this field value to true, then you will get a license error in the response from this API, okay, from user update API, okay. And inside the whiteboard, you have a Zoom whiteboard feature and you can also enable or disable this feature by setting value boolean type true or false, okay. And before uh, enabling this feature, you must be have a whiteboard license, then you uh, will be able to enable that feature. By default, this feature is also disabled, okay? And also inside the whiteboard, you have a Zoom whiteboard plus feature, okay? And you can also enable or disable that feature by setting true or false. And you must be have a Zoom white, uh, whiteboard plus license before going to enable that, okay? And inside the others, you have other features called you can either enable Zoom IQ for sales. So you can enable that feature by setting true or false in the type of Boolean value. And you can also enable this fe if, uh, feature if you have a license. Okay? If you do not have a license, then you cannot enable that. Okay. And inside the others, you have also Zoom translated captions. 
okay and zoom translated captions uh, you can also set the value in the type if you are interested to enable that you can set value too and if you are interested to pass that uh, disable that then set false by default this feature is also disabled and this feature also require lesson okay if you are interested to enable then you must be have a lesson with the zoom translated captions okay and in other feature inside the other feature section you have zoom managed customer key and you can also enable or disable by setting value boolean type true or false okay and this feature also requires a zoom managed customer key license if you have a license then you can be or then you will be able to enable them okay so let's uh these are the, all the features you can enable or disable by using this uh, update users rest api and let's demonstrate all the settings uh uh, from all the up feature related uh, fields from the postman okay so i am just going to uh, updating uh, one or two fields and i am leaving uh, uh, remainings for you that you can test okay so let's first start the api because we have already already integrated that endpoint with the zoom so let's start the api and navigate to the postman let's post open the postman and inside the postman we have a zoom api collection and we have settings and update settings requests okay so let's first pick the what uh, features we have so let's request with the custom query field and we have a, in this account which i am going to request this user have uh, these features okay so this this user currently using uh propla and it have a max capacity 100 and inside these features, these two fields are deprecated. So these are useless, okay? And the remaining all the fields we have already described, okay? So let's first, uh, uh, let's try to change the capacity inside the update. So here we can say it feature and say it capacity and we say it, let's set the 50 and request. We have successfully processed the request. Let's get, get back the features now here we can see we have updated that to 50 okay and then and now let's try to set the invalid value which is uh, greater than capacity available capacity and available capacity is 100 and we are setting here invalid value which is a 500 which is not available percent request will also be processed but inside this capacity the mac capacity will be auto set so you can see here there will be 100 okay you can see here is 100 okay and now let's try to uh, uh, test the zoom phone and inside the zoom phone you can try to enable i do not have any lesson and i'm pretty sure that we will receive a lesson error let's send the request and you can see we cannot enable due to uh, license unavailability with the phone okay and for the remaining features i'm just leaving those for you uh there's just uh get the code and uh, test those okay and if you are if you are uh, facing any problem or facing any bug regarding when you are going trying to uh changing the settings or updating the settings using that endpoint then i'll share your all your queries via the inside the video comment section and if you have any queries or suggestions then those are also best most welcome you can share those by share contact details and hopefully we will come back with another section uh, regarding the user settings api and take care bye bye